loves, welcome back to Body Life YouTube channel. It's so good to have you here hanging out this week once again. I am going to be shuffling cards for you. I'm going to be pulling the chart for you and I'm going to see what messages we have, what messages the guys guides have for us. It is an honor to have you here, so feel free to pour yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea or a nice glass of water or a healthy snack and allow me to just channel for you, okay? Uh, before I get started, please pardon my super cozy appearance. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm introverted to infinity and beyond today, so I only wanted to wear a hoodie, and of course, the hoodie that I chose was going to be the Star Tribe hoodie. Um, shameless self-plug, but also not kind of not really because I'm completely out of stock of the hoodies. was thinking about bringing them back, but we'll see what happens. I know that you guys have been requesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. So last week, can we talk about that? My goodness, last week was an open, open space. Clearly it was an open space. My intention was to come on and, and shuffle the cards and pull the charts as always. But man, as soon as I sat down and as soon as the camera started rolling and as soon as I asked spirit, you know, speak, 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 spirit was like, no. We're not going to have you pulling messages from the charts or astrology or the planets. We're not going to have you pulling messages from the cards, from us. We are going to speak to you and we are going to speak through you and you have a message to deliver. And that's exactly what I did. Shout out to those of you guys that were impacted by that message or were meant to receive that message. It was such a good one. And I feel like we're in a time where that message is 1000% going to need to be recycled. I will link it down below for those of you guys that need it. If you haven't heard it or if you feel called to listen to it, it is definitely there for you. I think it's about 20 minutes. So I'm saying all this to say that spirit's a little different this week, um, which I'm here for. I'm always down for how spirit moves us. There is this really strong vibe of grounding, centering, stabilizing. And as I'm looking at the astrology charts, my loves, it makes sense because the part of fortune is now sitting in the sign of Virgo. Virgo, of course, is an earth sign, but also ruled by Mercury. So it's grounding our thoughts, grounding our communication, grounding how we perceive things and how we receive, um, how we process our information of what it is that we've already received. The part of fortune does represent the area within the, the planets, the cosmos, the galaxy, the universe, where we can hit an amazing massive stroke of good luck, or we can find the wherever the part of fortune is, so that sign, those aspects in our lives having good energy infused into them, or maybe we cross paths with a Virgo or another earth sign and or a Pisces, and there's a lot of uh, good luck that gets stimulated up by that or triggered by that. I am not saying that because I'm a Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Mars, my loves. If anything, I'm the most skeptical being on the face of this earth. I'm saying this because the chart is 1000% lit up with this beautiful trine with this, um, with the moon and Mars and, and all falling in the sign of Capricorn and earth sign. And then, I'm sorry, did I say the moon? I meant to say Venus and Mars falling in the sign of Capricorn, and the moon and Uranus falling in the sign of Taurus, and then the part of fortune sitting in Virgo. So what this creates is this beautiful trine, and a trine is the energy of all of these different planets or points that are choosing to work effortlessly together. They just are working in communion and unison very, very easily and effortlessly. They understand each other. They're speaking each other's languages. For the first time in months, 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 you guys, we have uh, no retrograde planets. When, 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 when have we <laughs> had that? So this feels like a breath of fresh air. This is the first week where we're really experiencing this, this energy of the planets moving direct and full, but then to start it with this trine, this trine that births in new energy, new blessing, good energy, good vibes. Now I know that I'm the type of person that notoriously says there's no such thing as good or bad. It just is what it is. Absolutely. 1000%. I still stick with that. But I will say that this energy this week does feel more cathartic, more 
cleansing in a way that is not so aggressive and energetically depleting, but it's very receptive if you're open to it, if you're absolutely open to it. This reminds me of this earthy, lush garden. When we have Taurus energy, we have Taurus ruled by Venus, we have the energy of the garden, the secret garden. When we have Capricorn, we have the walls that are gating the this secret garden. And when we have part of fortune sitting in the sign of Virgo, we have the caretaker, the 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 gardener who tends to the garden in that safe space under in those walls. That's the energy that is that we have this week, and I love that for us. I will say that last week around the 6th, today's the 7th of February that it is that I'm filming this, Mars was squaring off with Chiron. Chiron is sitting in the sign of Aries. Chiron rules the wounded space within our heart, our heart, our soul, and our, our position here on Earth. It's been teaching us how to be more selfish, more self-focused, to put ourselves first, and to redefine how we exist and how and how we call ourselves and 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 how we speak to ourselves and what we believe that we're capable of or what we're not capable of. Aries wants you to be determined, motivated, ambitious, and a self-starter and confident within yourselves and your own ability. And to give yourself at least the space and the place to showcase those, those tendencies, those traits, at least for right now. And when Mars in Capricorn squares off with Chiron sitting the sign of Aries, I will say that there is an irritation that might have occurred this past weekend and the week before that, that I feel that we are buffering out. So I wouldn't be surprised if this has to do with a fight that you may have had with someone close to you, some irritating undercurrent energies that you just know something isn't right, but maybe you're having a hard time putting your finger on it or having a hard time articulating it or communicating this with this person or with the aspects within yourself why why were you having a hard time well because mercury had only just recently gone direct venus had only recently just gone direct and even though they are direct and moving forward these planets that will communication and what we're attracted to and what we love and what we like they when they are are switching up they can be very messy they can have a hard time speaking their heart clearly and when they do speak up it will be misinterpreted or you'll have miscommunication which can lead to communication backfires which then can lead to fights and misunderstandings okay let me change my battery real quickly and then i'll be right back all right and we're back so for my more introverted type of people out there, you know who you are. You need a little bit more time to reflect and stay to yourself. Honestly, because of the irritation that it is I'm seeing within the chart, I'm seeing that something that you would normally take time out to sit and express and to share with someone, whoever this is, um, you just, it's not that you don't have time or the space or not that you don't want to. I just feel like it takes so much energy to explain to someone what it is that you were feeling or what it is that you were trying to say that for right now, you're almost either cutting your losses, you know what I mean? Just accepting something as a loss or let bygones be got bygones. Meaning like it almost feels like because it would take so much work to explain that you decide, you know what, is it worth it for me to explain it to them or can we just move forward or is this something that I just need to cut out? So introverts, I really do see you reserve, preserving your energy and if that is where you are at right now and if that is the way that you are feeling, spirit is saying that makes a lot of sense right now. We totally understand why you feel called to do that. We understand why you would not need to turn this into a discussion, even though in the past you might have needed to talk about this. Right now, we're more focused on protecting your energy resources and make sure that you are good. And sometimes that means you don't have to, you don't need to explain or overly exert your energy in any way, shape, or form in order to jump through hoops to maybe explain something to someone who is so committed to not understanding you, or maybe it's just not worth it to, um, you know, dive into those details. Let me move this a little bit, my Virgo. God bless me, thank you. <laughs> All right, so for my more extroverted human beings out there, for you, my loves, if there is irritation here, I and there's that conflict that it was that I was talking about, I genuinely see you feeling the same way as my introverted types, 
but I just see you not wanting to talk about things, but and not feeling the desire to to talk about it. You just kind of let it go, and you're so active and moving forward with other people that you're hanging out with or other things that you're doing. There's a lot of projects that you guys are launching and picking up in the new year. There have been there has clearly been a lot of back and forth when it comes to something that you have been working on a project this is for introverts and extroverts so there's been a project that you've been working on or something major something big something that has really highlighted your attention but it's kind of been on the back burner that now you've decided i don't want to put this off any longer this is something that i i'm i'm taking seriously and i want to move this forward and i'm going to put put this here so it almost feels like because your energy and your efforts are so hyper focused on this that this one thing um that i just don't see you spending too much time you know putting your effort communication your attention on something other than that does that make sense i hope that makes sense you guys um these readings are for a general audience so uh, my my general people so i i like to cover my ground as best as possible you know um on the eighth you guys we have mars again who is caretaking the garden look we have page of pentacles here just jumped out we have mars and venus but mars is um transiting through the sign of capricorn so this is the wall the barrier the gate that is protecting the secret garden protecting the garden whatever it is that you are working on for a lot of you guys, let me take a step back for a lot of you guys this garden is literally yourself it's your peace of mind it's your your ability it's like nine nine of pentacles like your ability to be rooted and comforted and supported in where it is that you stand and taking what you have around you and 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 really enjoying it and not needing to tweak it or adjust it in any way shape or form Th this last few years and definitely this last year like the last couple years there's been so much crumbling crumbleization that has happened and i can see over the last couple of years you have had these ruins meaning like Whatever it is that your life looked like up until this point, a certain area of your life crumbled and that those crumblings, just like Rome, they left this these big blocks, stones, dirt, dust. And a lot of you guys have been working to clean that up and to take what you can salvage, like take what you can salvage and, and put to, uh, to good use in order to build. There's this message that the spirits the planets were telling you don't give up you you want to continue on you want to carry on and rest and taking care of your body is very important but don't give up and it has been it required a lot of heavy lifting on your part for some of you guys this has been mental emotional spiritual health you know really picking up the pieces of the beliefs that have crumbled or a breakdown a massive breakdown that it is that you had or maybe this is burnout the burnout has been really real for you or maybe a divorce, or maybe the birth of a child, which was a blessing, but it's uh, maybe your hormones were off, or maybe something was off, or maybe you got fired from your job, or maybe all of the above. So what I've been seeing is the last couple of years, you're picking up the ruins of all of this and deciding to build something new here. Something has already been established here. And look at the base of this reading, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is literally the energy of what is it I'm talking about. Pentacles is Earth energy. And when we have, um, again, Venus and Mars sitting in the sign of Capricorn, that is the gate. Four of Pentacles, it's what we're protecting. Uh, Uranus and Moon sitting in the sign of Taurus is what is worth being protected. And part of fortune, Virgo, falling in the sign of Virgo, is the gardener who is tending to what is being protected. That is genuinely what it is that I'm seeing here for every single one of us. There's, there's a, a, a stabilizing presence of you getting organized, of you getting your hands dirty, of you starting to write, of you starting to show up. And where is this coming from? It's coming from the same area of your life where 
you have been challenged to show up for yourself, challenged to redefine yourself, challenged to be confident, self-assured, and put yourself first. Why is this? Because Chiron, the 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 wounded, the wounded asteroid, the wounded part within your heart and soul and spirit. That spirit is telling every single one of us to be selfish very selfish in what makes you feel good, what makes you feel vibrant, what makes you feel strong, is when it's moved to the sign of Aries and has been moving to the sign of Aries, and then last week when it was triggered by Mars transitioning over it, that stubborn ass energy of Mars moving through Capricorn, pushing at that, shooting <laughs> like a bow and arrow at Chiron in the sign of Aries, man, you have really been a warrior aspect within you has been triggered without a doubt. And this could be, again, something that comes from within, something that someone says or something that happens that makes you feel like, you know what, I need to put myself first. I'm not going to do what's better for the collective or be do what's better for my best friend circle or do what's better for my family. I have to, or for my work group or for this student group that I'm working on this project that we're all assigned I have to do what's right for me it's a conversation that you have to have it's work that you have to do it's things that you feel called to do and the place that is that you feel guided to go to that doesn't involve in you asking anyone else for permission is this okay if I do this no the answer is you are doing this for you you don't need to ask anybody for permission you have to do what's right for you and spirit is saying She's getting it or he's learning it and we're here and it's happening, okay? Um, I want to talk about this Jupiter opposing part of fortune and the sign of Virgo spirit. This You're really calling my attention here. Yeah, death card. Death and rebirth. Interesting that that one just jumped out. I would not expect that at all. Okay, so what it is that I'm seeing, what it is that I'm feeling right now is, again, the trine, this beautiful trine that's happening within the planets. It's actually upside down from the chart that it is that I'm looking at right now. But, again, a trine is this effortless, easy energy that happens when the planets or the points within the cosmos are effortlessly communicating with each other. They are on the same page. They are speaking the same love language, right? And they give this energy exchange to each other. They say, I hear you, I hear you, I see you, I feel you, I want the same things, let's work together. And they're just like, yes, they're all on board, right? So what ends up happening is that something easily and effortlessly can be birthed into the world, into your life, into your intention, because we clearly have a birth canal here, right? I thought I put all of my devices on Do Not Disturb, but apparently not. Anyway, so that's totally fine. We're going to keep it moving. So having said that, with this birth canal that is being created here and the death card and the rebirth, there is a, not only say a cycle, because I feel like that word is so overused and it's absolutely irritating <laughs> as a spiritual person right now. And words for me are very important, so I'm very cautious about how I use my words and the overuse of certain words. But there is the ending of a something within your life that has already occurred, already happened. And when the trine happens, you have, you have felt that natural push, that, that natural instinctual urge to push that brings in new life. When that happens, something that is being ushered in is exiting out of something that it once was in. Does that make sense? So a good metaphor that I can use is literally the birth of a child. That child has been sitting in the womb for nine months, you know, gain, gaining nutrients, gaining strength, and growing. And then finally, the day comes, four of pentacles, page of pentacles, the day, the day comes, death card and rebirth card. The day comes where this energy this little entity is now being ushered into a new world. It's the same thing, but it's going to change drastically when it enters into this new world and as it leaves the old world, okay? And I see that for every single one of us. Spirit is saying, with this garden-like space that you have, 
allow yourself this week minimum, the next seven days, to sit with, acknowledge, be receptive to, absorb, be open to this newness that is happening within your life because it is very, it can be very emotional. It can be very exciting. You will have all the days ahead of you in order to plan, in order to progress, in order to be a different you and show up in a different way and have these different experiences. But the in-between, the rest period that you're having while you're in this garden is just as important as the active stage of healing or the active stage of promoting yourself or the active stage of travel or the active stage of marriage. That is is important and great, but so is that rest in that in-between after something has been birthed and once something has been exited out. Spirit is saying with Jupiter sitting in the sign of Pisces directly opposing the part of fortune in Virgo, I want you guys to understand that Jupiter pulls prophetic visions, messages, intuitive downloads, and it's the part of fortune in Virgo. Virgo energy processes what Jupiter has downloaded and received and begins to make sense of it. So this week, as you're sitting in the garden, as something has been birthed in your life, you are you're arresting, but you're actively processing the stage of your life that you are in. And even though it may not be so physically active, even though you may not be called and pulled to jump through hoops and hurdles in the external life, and you will, you will have that, okay? There will be work, new work, new effort, new commitment, new loyalty, new action that has been birthed as a result of this birth, 1,000%. But for right now, this cathartic resting period of you processing and making sense of and understanding and and journaling it and capturing it in your way, in your unique way, in your own unique truth, in your unique path is the most productive thing that is that you can do, 1,000%. It has everything to do with your personal path. It has everything to do with your personal growth. It has everything to do with this new area in your life that you have been ushered into that is protected, that is no longer performative. It's very authentic. It's very genuine. Um, and it calls you to question in what is right for me? What do I need? Who am I now? Because that is important and that is what is being stabilized. I hope this message resonates. I hope it makes sense, my loves. This is absolutely going to be an, a phenomenal week for every single one of us. Please let me know down in the comments how this makes sense. Um, and I do want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'm also working on the 2022 guide to 2022, so the Astro Intuitive Guide. That will be available. The pre-order is available on my website, bahadilife.com. That's the only place that is that you can find me. Anything else is going to be a scam. I'm not offering readings at this time. The only other thing that I can say that you might find me is my other personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria, where I'm currently hatching chicks. I do a lot of homesteading when I'm not working my magic. So if you guys are interested in that, it's there for you. And I also do a lot of baking and cooking and a lot of animal, just Virgo shit, you guys, you know. But until then, I'm sending you guys all of my love. Honestly, it's been so amazing. Again, once to sit and, you know, to sit and talk with you once again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. 
Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary. And don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at Bahati Life, where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.